why water parks are trash and i hate water parks so let's see what he's talking about everyone loves to get wet isn't that right ladies that's why i decided to go to america's largest indoor no. water park kalahari resorts they got water slides a wave pool jail teens everything what? you could possibly want for the low price of your physical well-being you see water parks are like diddy's house they're wet rough and don't ask for permission i think i got hurt on almost every slide first the video slide, just started lazy doggy where you ride down face first on your elbows which sounds like a terrible idea and it is Anytime someone says, just get in your elbows, you should start asking questions. Worst part was, you can't wear goggles, so all you're doing is taking money shots to the face. And at the end of the ride, they added a little hill. That way you gain a little bit of air before landing back down on your elbows. See, chat? It all makes sense why I don't like water parks, bro. It just seems like a lot of, like, things happening to me at once. It just don't sound like a fun time to me, bro. It don't. Honestly, it sounds like torture. A little bit of air before landing back down on your elbows. Ah! I remember just standing up afterwards like, why did I pay for this? Second slide I like to call It's a trap! Where a trap door opens up, dropping you into it. Which, to be fair, would have been great if they allowed you to wear f***ing goggles! It's hard to have fun when you take a fire hose to the face. <laughs> like if you went skydiving and someone's just repeatedly sliding you like this is kind of ruining the experience third slide i like to call the pooper because it starts huh? off like a regular slide that connects to a giant toilet bowl that flushes you into a pool now this can be a great slide depending on how you fall feet first and you're fine head first and oh fuck, my spine that's right my huh. third time playing goldfish i went head first causing my spine to bend backwards as i belly flopped into the pool i know how six flags has like them big ass funnels i have never gotten on one of those before bro never in my life it just seems like something that i shouldn't do bro I'm not gonna lie. I ain't but so tall and, and but so big. And that water might just swoop my little ass up and I might be in the air or some shit. I don't fucking know. As my spine bend backwards as I belly flopped into the pool. To make it worse, once I surfaced, I'm just getting pelted in the head by a waterfall. Now I'm crazy disoriented in a great deal of pain playing Marco Polo with a preteen lifeguard. Help me, child! Fourth slide I like to call daddy issues. Because at first it seems like a fun <laughs> ride, but slowly ruins your life. Every time ah. I hopped on that bitch, she'd claw out my back. But like a horned teen, I just kept getting back on saying, this time... This time will be different. This slide I like to call surprise traps, where everything's going great until they get rock hard. You see, this slide leads to a seven foot pool where you gotta swim your way to the exit. No big deal, right? Wrong. Cause the pool goes from seven to four feet with no warning. It's not a progressive gradient either, just a surprise concrete stair. Ah! Again, I didn't realize you had an Adam's apple. Six slide I what? like to call the tease. It's right next to surprise trance, which makes you think you're gonna land in a seven foot pool. Nope, that hits three feet max. So after landing, I go to stand up and slam my shin against the ground. Yo. Like mother of tits. That's why I decided to take a break and go to the wave pool. Now, when I say no, wave pool, what do you think? The wave pool is where y'all get f***ed up, bro. <laughs> That's what people be drowning. Like the wave pool is a scam. What do you think of? Is it waves? Not this one. Ripple, sure, but waves? No. It felt more like being in a bathtub with your autistic cousin, only with less piss. They should have called it the Kai Sinat, because it was a little bitch. Wow. Like get it together and start drowning some toddlers. Part of the excitement is trying to save small children. Billy, grab on! Billy! Then I went to the floating basketball hoops, which had a huge sign that said no dunking, which was That's just the whole ridiculous. point. First off, everyone there was white, so I don't think it'd be a problem. Plus, uh. we're Cool. Wow. <laughs> Talk about black people kryptonite. Anyway, I'm playing for a bit until a child starts splashing me. I ain't gonna lie, that's kind of crazy. Because black people can't swim. And then white people don't dunk. They can't jump. So, like, it was no reason to put it. <laughs> no reason putting a sign up because white people can't jump and black people can't swim. So, none of those things make sense. <laughs> crazy. I'm playing for a bit until a child starts splashing me. I politely ask him to stop, but like your fap sessions, he kept going. So I did what? the only logical thing and spiked a ball in his face. He starts crying. Oh, he's a villain. I start laughing, saying, what did you learn? Unfortunately, he didn't stop crying, and the preteen lifeguard whistles for me to get out of the pool. As I'm exiting, I'm confronted by the kid's 15-year-old brother who starts threatening me, saying, yo, that's my brother you hit. And I'm like, maybe you should play better defense. Now, before I get butthurt comments of, how could you hit a child? The balls are made out of foam, okay? How much damage could I possibly have done? Besides, you should never f with someone bigger than you. If Rihanna learned that lesson, that kid can too. Anyway, I was getting tired of children, so I went to the adults only section <sighs> called the Grotto. And ooh, this area was nice. It had mood lighting, a swim up bar, and best of all, a swim up no bar? The only tough. problem was there was almost no one there. So I'm chit chatting with the bartender for a bit until two fine honeys enter the pool. One headed cheetah. I'm not worried about the honeys, but like a swim up bar? That sounds kind of cool. This will make me go. But like a swim up bar sounds like a fun experience. Hopefully, like I don't get too drunk and I drown in the water or something. One headed cheetah print bikini on, and my Johnson's like, ah, time to make this kitty purr. So I approach them, and it could not have gone worse. After introducing myself, the cheetah print girl 
says, So, who did you come here with? Uh, no one. Huh? So you came to a water park alone? Well, I just moved here. That so you sounds kind of weird. Well, I, some people I met. Really? Then where are they? Well, I felt a little presumptuous to invite them to a place where they gotta be half naked. Sounds like you don't have any friends. Well, just like you are making it easy. Who are you calling a bitch, you loser? That's when I decided to be the bigger person and walk away. Right after splashing with. So now there's only about an hour left, and both my body and ego are hurting. Normally I just leave, but I was determined to have a positive experience. That's okay. when I see the flow rider or surfing simulator. Now I never skateboarded or surfed before, but thought, how hard could it be? Spoiler alert, pretty goddamn hard! Turns I do it. Thing me that day was my balance. As soon I ride as I those waves. Board, I ate shit. Just went face first into the wave and slid my way to the top, then took the walk of shame back down, saying, okay, let's try this again. The kid running it says, why did you lean forward? I'm like, because I wanted to RKO myself. What do you think? Happened. This is my first time doing this. Cut me some shirk. He says, Here, just hold my hands and start bouncing on the board. I'll guide you in. So I start huh? bouncing and slowly work my way into the wave. As soon as he lets go, my board starts to spin, and I'm like, No, no, no. You then gotta keep bouncing. Slamming my head against the mat. Concussion oh. has entered the chat. Yep, after all the scrapes and bruises, I ended my water park experience with a concussion. Ringing in my ears, bright lights, massive headache. I had it all. Almost like God was trying in to shake water. some sense into me. You didn't learn your lessons on the slides? Here, maybe this will teach you. So, anyone thinking about going to a water park? Just don't. Because water parks are like road trips with your uncle. Sounds like a fun time until they start beating your meat. What the fuck is wrong with him? How to get anything for free. Money, fame, top shelf kitty. We all want stuff. How do you get it? Is it hard work, luck, genetics? No! No! It's because of God. That's okay. right. Prayer is all you need to get what you want. So get on Hallelujah. your knees and start swallowing the Lord's grace. Um, when he says it like that, I kind of don't want to do it, but I I'll get on my knees for the Lord. But like when he said it like that, I, I kind of like regret get on my knees. Prayer is all you need to get what you want. So get on your knees and start swallowing the Lord's grace. Patrick Mahomes, expert prayer. Dude won the Super Bowl. You know the first person he thanked? That's right, the G-Man. Fuck his coach, parents, and demon of a wife. It was the Holy Spirit that propelled him to the promised land. Not yeah. God gave me the strength to run and get that first down and get us in the field goal range. That's right, God yeah. loves to cheat. Jacking up stats mid-game so we can cover the over-under. Sometimes he even nerfs players, like taking a pair of scissors to Drew Greenlaw's Achilles saying, this is for you, Pat. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey, big <laughs> prayer, letting peeps know he was chosen by God. Chosen to gain international fame by pretending to be a pet. That's what I love about these high school girls. I get older, they stay the same age. You know Yo, God loves a good diddler. That, that was stuff that's going on right now is insane. It's a very sensitive topic right now. It's a lot of weird stuff in that industry, you know? But you'll see how it plays out. It could be an interesting year for a lot of motherfuckers. They stay the same age. You know God loves a good diddler. That's why he's always inviting him over. Come on in. Then bend over little Billy and come on in again. If he didn't approve, then don't you think he would have written about it? Yeah. Bro. So stop thinking with your brain and start praying with your soul. Mark Wahlberg, anabolic prayer. That's my After goat. Mark committed not only one, but two hate crimes, he God did. decided to bless him with the hit song, Good Vibrations. That way minorities had something to listen to in the hospital beds. Now shortly after this, Mark assaults another man, breaking his jaw, but all after true? some rock hard praying, he was rewarded with a successful modeling career. I mean, God knew he he needed the money. How else was he supposed to buy a mansion in order to stay away from those darkies? Steph Curry, money shot. Yes! Wait a second, them who? The darkies? I don't even want to celebrate you go. You mentioned my great Stephen Curry. Hey, it's a lot. It's a lot going through my head right now. Both of them. Mana shot prayer. Two MVPs, four championships, and one thick ass honey. Mmm. Gotta be giving out them fat blessings. Sometimes he shows up <laughs> in the game and gives Steph a little assist. But why doesn't God make every ball go in? Well, that's because sometimes the devil shows up and chest bumps him out of the way. Which, to be fair, is a knock on God. How are you gonna let the devil punk you like that? Hmm? You created everything and everyone ever known, so stop taking bitch sips from your juice box and start slapping around the big D. Besides, uh, you create them. This is on you, homie. Start taking some responsibility for your f ups, all right? If my d gets stuck in a flashlight, is that the flashlight's fault or my fault? Hmm? You're the one handing out superpowers to angels, wondering how shit went off the rails. How is the devil even an angel? It sounds like a bad vetting process. Maybe you should ask what? some better questions before allowing strangers into your place. Oh, God. It doesn't make any sense. Maybe. Maybe I just need to pray harder. Yeah, that's it. I don't want to be like Israel Palestine throwing down some weak ass prayer. My Christians out there, don't take offense to this. He's offending everybody in religion ain't safe either. Hoping these are just jokes and giving y'all a disclaimer that anything he says in this doesn't reflect my emotions and my feelings toward any of these religions. In Jesus name I pray, amen. I don't want to be like Israel Palestine throwing down some weak ass prayers. Look how stupid they look, thinking that's gonna work. <laughs> 
that's not how you pray, dummy. Do you think getting closer to the ground is gonna help God hear you better? I'm just trying to show the Lord submission. If you really want to show submission, then why don't you try doggy? Show the Lord you're willing to do whatever it takes, no matter how much it hurts. Take it from what? me, I'm a big time prayer. God's been skipping blessings all over me. He helped me pray the gay away. Now I don't think about Ryan Gosling's tight denim jacket on his chiseled body with that his- That movie just came out, bro. What do you, what do you mean? This is the Barbie movie, bro. What? It, this is, this, this is racing? You was just gay last year? Jacket on his chiseled body with his pouty, pouty lips. No, no, because God picks winners and losers, and I'm a winner. You know how many kids needed to get cancer for me to succeed? For every blessing, someone must suffer. So every time Chris Pratt wins an award, someone's killed by ants. I mean, what was your cousin doing in the forest anyway? That's where God puts his booby traps. Whether it's bears or coyotes or bigger bears. We all know Earth is basically just a horror movie to God. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. He's got a knife. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, dad. You gotta watch this. It's real. Real gruesome. This is why you need to learn to pray like a boss. Don't be throwing out some beta prayers like African children. Sorry, click clock. Too many basketball games on today's schedule. Oh my god. Yo. This is not how I thought this video was gonna go. This man called the black child click clock and then said it's too many basketballs on the too many basketball games on the list today. Oh, Oh my gosh. African children? Sorry, click clock. Too many basketball games on today's schedule. Maybe tomorrow. Keep praying and I'll think about it. Don't pray and it'll be another four months before rainfall. God, I'm so needy! Now, even if your prayer game is on point, it doesn't mean God's gonna answer it. You see, sometimes God wants certain things to happen, and that's part of his plan, okay? Can't change those events. But sometimes you can pray for something, and occasionally he'll give it to you. I mean, even if he wanted oh to, God. he can't answer all prayers. Sometimes two people are praying for the same thing. Like play from Amber in accounting. How does God supposed to answer both, hmm? So you just pick the guy with the least Asian sounding name? Jonathan, this is for you, homie. Sorry, ping pong, no tush push for you. Face it, not everyone's gonna get what they want, except for me. God always answers my prayers. Sometimes. Wait, 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 wait. What did I say? Prayer. Yo, prayer. Shut the fuck. <laughs> How am I supposed to react to stuff like this, bro? Like that earthquake in New York. Yeah, that was me. Now, I also asked for him to destroy the subway system, but it's fine. He'll get to it next time. I mean, as long as there's queers, it's still gonna be natural disasters, am I right? So if you want something real bad, then stop working for it and start begging. Especially you Americans. If you don't want AKs in your pre-K, then how about you do a little pray-pray? We all know politicians are corrupt pieces of poop who aren't gonna fix dick. But you know who will fix it? That's right, the G-O throbbing D. If you choke on a Lego, is that the Lego's fault or your fault? Think about what you're swallowing, ho. Mark Wall. Because how you're talking to a kid. He's talking to a child. A Lego. Is that the Lego's fault or your fault? Think about what you're swallowing, ho. Mark Wahlberg, when he's not going partial blackface to give shout outs to the Lord. Prayer is like feels good to you, but does nothing for the person you're thinking about. You can't see it, but God's constantly blowing in basketballs to pad his fancy stats. I just wish he played a little defense, you know?